I'm with Algolux, I've been with Algolux, uh, it'll be coming up to six years now, uh, and prior with Xilinx uh, um, before that. So Algolux is a software company um, focused on providing very robust perception stacks that are primarily focused in the automotive AV uh, type space, as well as opti camera optimization tools that are generic across any application. And so I wanted to touch today more on what we're doing from an optimization standpoint. How do you squeeze the best performance out of a pre-trained network or include uh, camera optimization or optimization of the image signal processor in that camera to get that best performance? And before I move on from that, I will ask who here knows or is interacting or is working directly with the image signal processor in the camera? A uh, show of hands, okay, we got a number of hands. Uh, maybe the next one is who even knows what an ISP is? Show. All right, so most people do, okay, cool. So uh, I will maybe add a little color to that and you can hurry me along. Um, but. Needless to say, you've just been here for two days at the summit and have seen a lot of different applications for computer vision, everywhere from automotive uh, to garbage collection and, and mapping of full, full bins to drones and you know Amazon Go. So there's this really nice explosion of leverage of computer vision techniques due to increased use of AI, deep learning, and other techniques, and also increased compute. And the great thing about the Alliance, it all brings us all under one roof. So a lot of really awesome uh, dialogues that we've been having this past couple days. Uh, the other thing is about cameras are ubiquitous. Everyone's holding one in their hands for the most part or in their pockets, but it's just amazing to see the growth in image sensors that have kind of um, been going on for the last few years, and that's continued to project uh, to grow. And one of the drivers of that, of course, is the computer vision applications that are providing a lot more services and capabilities and, and features to enrich our lives and our, and our devices. Um, so this is all driving this democratization, I like to call it, of computer vision, where it's even little, you know, small devices are starting to leverage cameras and, and computer vision today.